Now to Campbell River, where the SPCA is closing its doors after 30 years in the community and countless animal rescues. The society says it has no choice. It was on the losing end of a bidding war over animal control services in the city. CTV's Gord Kerbis has more. He joins us now with the tales. Gord. Well, Hudson, many animal lovers in Campbell River are upset today over the sudden news that the city's SPCA shelter, a fixture in the community for three decades, is closing almost immediately. The SPCA held the contract to do animal control for the city, but lost that recently and also couldn't reach a financial agreement to operate the pound. Both of those duties will now be covered by a company from Duncan, and many here are not happy. She's one of only two animals remaining in the Campbell River SPCA shelter and will soon be just like the others, gone from a facility that has served the community for three decades. It's a very hard day for the staff and the volunteers, but I've got a great group here. I'm very proud of what they've done. Every cage is getting cleaned one last time and everything is coming off the walls as the SPCA prepares to close its doors. The society failed to reach an agreement with the city over animal control and pound services contracts. It's a sad day for the animals, the staff and the volunteers, but we can leave with our heads held high that we've done a good job here for 30 years and that every single animal left this facility was spayed or neutered, vaccinated and dewormed. The city says it can't afford what the SPCA wants. The society asked for $218,000 per year to look after animal control, with a further $95,000 to keep running the pound. Campbell River has now awarded two contracts to Coastal Animal Control Services. The five-year deal is for $183,000 per year less than what the SPCA wanted. The crux of the issue is the city's mandate is uh, uh, public safety. And so a pound is there to deal with impounded animals. The SPCA's mandate is animal welfare. So they do a whole lot more than just pound services. The city is acknowledging the work the SPCA does and offered it a $34,000 grant in aid and free use of the city's facility. The city says the SPCA said it was losing money on its Campbell River operation and couldn't continue. Council really wanted to stay there. And then we got notice uh, yesterday that they were leaving as of Sunday, so it's quite short notice. Oh, sure, their, their bid was low, but you're not going to get the animal care. Volunteers like Nikki Good believe Campbell River's belt tightening will be bad for animals, especially for cats that won't be dealt with by the new operators. I'm just so upset with their decision. I, I kept thinking, okay, they've given away the contract, the animal control contract, but surely they have enough sense to realize a city of this size cannot do without a, an animal shelter through the SPCA. Coastal Animal Control out of Duncan will take over the shelter facility beginning April 1st. The hours, though, will be reduced, open only from 4 till 5 on weekdays, and noon till 1 on Saturdays. Now, all of the animals in the shelter were removed this morning, some to here in Courtney and others down island. The animals are gone and effective Sunday night, the staff will also disappear. The facilities will be maintained by the new company, but the difference being it's pretty much just a pound and it's only open for an hour a day, only for dogs. Cats, rabbits and other creatures that the SPCA was looking after are pretty much on their own. Hudson. All right, Gord Kerbis reporting tonight in Courtney. Gord, thank you.